So a few days ago I set out to try to figure out how to do a combination mono stereo camera rig and I posted on the Oculus form and got a very useful answer from Steve from uh, Steve Drash of Titans of Space and he what he said here he gave me the general idea of what he did in Titans of Space he said what I did in Titans of Space for Gear VR is to have a standard far camera render the distant scenery once onto a render texture which happens to be the left eye texture for that frame this changes every frame and then draw a full screen quad onto the right eye texture using the same render texture and so I set out to figure out if I could replicate something like this and surprisingly I've got it working it works with one caveat and that it doesn't work on the gear but I think that is because of a sort of a known issue with Android and I think there's a way around it and I'm hoping uh, someone might have an idea about that but it's working in the editor and I want to show what I've got and, uh, and uh, put it out there and see if there's ways that this could be improved upon but it does prove the concept I do believe that it will work so if I hit play here what I've got down here at the bottom this is it in the bottom in the game view what we've got is everything except the cockpit is monoscopic and the uh, cockpit and the heads up is stereoscopic and if you look up here in the scene view you can see something pretty funny there I've got this quad flying around with the whole scene being rendered to it right in front of the craft and I want to show you how this works so what I've got here is a single camera controller because that's I think the, the the key is that you right now with the gear SDK at least it just does not support multiple camera controllers there's a bunch of issues with that and I think it's just not meant to be used that way so what I did is to the regular camera controller I added a new camera in the middle called mono camera and this mono camera renders to a texture so I made a render texture here called mono view texture and right now I've got it be 1024 by 1024, but I think it can be 248, 2048 by 2048. And so what it's doing is it's rendering, if you look down this texture, it's rendering everything but the cockpit to this monoscopic texture. So then I just have to figure out how to composite that behind the cockpit. So what I do for that, if we look here on this mono camera, we're rendering it to the, the uh, target texture. And it's all about the culling mask, proper use of the culling mask. And so see, I'm rendering everything but the cockpit and the two render texture quads to this single to this uh, single render texture. And so then what I do is childed to the two cameras, I, I put a quad. Now there's probably a much better way to do a full screen quad in, uh, in script because this is, this is very, this is very rough. I'm just kind of getting it to where it looks right. It's probably not perfect, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good for now. And so what we do is on this, on this, well, first off, let's look at the camera. Camera left and camera right have to be set up a little special, especially. First off, you have to set the clear flags to depth only because they're going to be the near cameras. And then all they're going to render, the camera left is going to render the cockpit and the, the uh, layer render texture left I call it, or render texture L, that I put the quad on that stick, that's stuck in front of the camera and that's all that it renders. Camera right renders only the cockpit and render texture right because there's actually two quads here and you don't want both cameras seeing both of them. And so by doing that what we've got is right here pasted in front of the camera, or let's, let's just turn these quads off for a minute and let's see what, what it looks like down here when we hit play. See, what, that's what it looks like at first, which uh, it looks a little weird because we're only clearing the depth buffer on it, but you can see you've got the cockpit and the HUD. And then so when I turn these quads on, there it is. That's just, I'm actually just pasting in front of it, compositing a matte image. <laughs> and then on the other quad, I'm setting it to the same texture, and again, there might be a more efficient way of doing this. I, have to, I haven't seen how the frame rate is on it, but the idea is it's the same texture. So we've got a monoscopic view out there of the level, and a still the stereo, a still stereoscopic view of the cockpit and the heads-up display, and this works. There's probably ways to clean this up and make it more efficient, but here's the problem right now. It works. It works here in the uh, in the editor. When I run this on the gear, I end up with with nothing but a uh, with nothing but a black with nothing but a black uh, quad behind the 
uh, the cockpit. I believe it is rendering a black quad because it's not doing that weird depth smearing, but... Oh, gotta shoot some of these. First of all, I just gotta shoot some stuff. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's pretty funny how the, uh, you're seeing the bullets on the quad lining up properly with the gun that's rendered in stereoscopic. So I think this could be really, really huge and could work really, really well. We just gotta get it working on the gear. Now, here's what I think is going on with the gear. If we look at, there's this thread. If you look up a uh, render texture Android Unity, if you Google that, there's this big long thread where a lot of people ever since Unity 4.2 have been having troubles where uh, render textures are not rendering properly on Androids. You have to move th something from update to on post render and then all of a sudden the, the render texture will work. Now supposedly this has been fixed in more recent versions, but it doesn't work for me on Android. But it does work here in the editor, and I think that's pretty cool. I mean, look at that view up top. That's pretty, that's pretty nifty. <laughs> and so I think there's a lot of potential here for squeezing a lot of performance out of the gear just by splitting up layers, splitting up your layers via culling into things that uh, need, to be mo need to be stereoscopic and things that can be monoscopic. And the more you can put on that monoscopic layer, as long as there's not too much overhead on the, uh, the, the, the render texture aspect of this solution, I think this is going to work. And so if anyone can respond to this and figure out what I might need to do to get this thing to work properly in Android, that would be really awesome. Otherwise, I'll probably keep hacking at it and figure it out myself. Bye-bye.